uh, 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 path of being uncontested in a primary and at this time uncontested in a general. So, Larry, you, you could retire as a 100% politician after this one. Oh, I tell you, I, I don't know why the uh, Lord allowed me to to, uh, to not have any competition uh, either in the primary or the general, but I'm very, very thankful. Uh, it allows me to uh, continue to, to work hard at my, at my day job, but also uh, get around the state, but not as much as maybe some of the other candidates. But yeah, very blessed, very excited. I, uh, I love primary elections. I thought that the uh, the election last night, really this election season, uh, you know, it was people, we had so many great candidates for so many great offices. Uh, they were hard fought, uh, mostly well financed, and there's always surprises, which is part of the excitement. So glad to have last night uh, uh, over and looking forward to uh, uniting uh, the Republican Party and moving forward to uh, to November. Larry, will the Democratic Party have an option to appoint a candidate for the general election? No, sir. No, no. So I think maybe one of the minor parties have, have an opportunity, but the Democrats uh, do not, uh, the way the laws are continue, uh, construed. And, you know, we, ha- we also have, a, you know, we have a lot of uh, House of Delegate members and, and the state Senate members in the, in, in the same boat with me. So I'm not the only one, but I am the only, sta- only uh, statewide. Why do you suppose um, nobody wanted to run for treasurer? There were multiple challenges to every other seat that was available from the constitutional officers. Well, I'll tell you, it was not in our plan. We expected to have a vigorous primary and a vigorous general when we started out on this uh, uh, on this venture, uh, you know, well over a year ago. So uh, we were we were as surprised, my wife and I were as surprised as as anybody. Uh, but we do believe that that um, that that I'm qualified for the job. That the the training I've had over my you know, over my lifetime uh, as a CPA. Uh, as a job creator, uh, and then in the last couple of years, uh, you know, the House delegates and, and now working uh, for Governor Justice uh, in, in various capacities has, has put me in the position to be prepared to, uh, to lead that office and to serve West Virginia. Larry, we've never, we, I've never actually met you, but I've heard about you from your colleagues in the House, and they speak very highly of you. Do you think that may have been the reason you did not have an opponent in the um, uh well, it could be. I think, I th- you know, people, uh, I think uh, I've been involved in elections since I was 18, and, and I do believe that people feel called to run for different, you know, for various positions, and then a lot of times it's just their life uh, situation at the time. So I thought that, you know, a lot of the folks that ran for auditor, I thought one of them would jump uh, this direction. Uh, There's a couple other people I thought would, would jump in. So I, I really don't know. Uh, we didn't try to dissuade anybody. We we basically just said what we were going to do and and the race we were going to run and and try to describe why. Uh, but but you know through my both my business and being involved in politics, House delegates, I, I, I know a lot of people or a lot of people at least know of me. So maybe that had had some uh, some impact. Um, I you know I got I do have a lot of friends that are in, in you know in the legislature from uh, from the Eastern Panhandle and other offices. So so maybe that helps some. Uh, but I'm again. I'm, my wife and I, we were surprised as anybody. Uh, good morning. This is John Gilstrap. I'll ask the obvious hey, question: What is the job of treasurer? In the, it's the one well, Riley Moore's been doing. I, well, I know who yeah, had it, I, I but think, what is the job? Yeah, I think I think the job of treasurer is really safeguarding the assets of uh, uh, of the state. Uh, you know, one of the biggest jobs is, is investing the state's money. So the state has. Uh, investments of about forty billion dollars. So overseeing that to make sure that we're making prudent re- investments to get the best return we can for the pensions, and also to get the best return we can on, on just the money that we have on, on a daily basis. So there's about forty million dollars there. Uh, in addition, uh, the the treasurer's office is is entrusted with running the Hope Scholarship Program, uh, which is which is a huge program, getting ready to be a lot bigger in in a couple years. Uh, so, you know, I'm a huge believer in education freedom. I was very blessed to be in the legislature time that was moving forward and to be able to work to support and pass that bill. So we've got to get ready uh, ready for that and make sure that we're, we're doing that. The, the Treasurer also has a uh, has a, has influence on, on the state's budget, on, on how the money's spent and um, uh, how it's allocated. And, you know, any, you know, state when money comes in the state, we've got kind of three choices. Uh, we can invest it, we can give it back, or we can spend it. Uh, so I, I, I expect to have a lot of uh, a lot of suggestions on that, and a lot of say so in, in, in that area. Larry, you know, when it comes to 
Rob, yeah, go ahead. I was saying, Larry, finish. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. Finish your sentence, and we got to get to our uh, oh, commercial Riley, break. And Riley, Riley showed us that that we have to push back against these corporations that are fighting against our way of life, and so we'll make sure that that we only invest with people that believe in West Virginia values. And Riley is the national leader in that, and we'll continue that. Larry, I don't. I wish you the best of luck, but you won't need it in the general election. You just got to stay in good health. Hi, sir. I'll, I'll work. I went to the gym this morning, early, <laughs> so I'll, I'll keep, keep working on that. Keep working out, man. Hey, uh, all the best to you. Thanks so much for calling in. Thanks, sir. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Larry. Larry Pack at eight thirty nine.